Hello, fun. My name is Nick, and I'm here at the Midwest Regional in Chicago with Team 112 Plus One. This team of entirely first and second year students was part of the fourth seed alliance at the Central Illinois Regional, making it all the way to the lower bracket finals. They have an incredibly unique and efficient robot that is poising them well for this event. Plenty more about this coming up on Behind the Bumpers. Support Fun's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and Fun members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Now we're heading over to Adrian to talk about their intake system. So our intake system, we named it The Undertaker. We took inspiration from team number 95, The Grasshoppers. And basically, we have three pin, three roll, roller, roller pins under the bumper. That uh, can you show the intake? It's it makes contact with the nose, shooting it upwards to our 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 um, stealth wheels. We have two compliant wheels on the sides to help the nose get straight into our feed. We decided to go with the Undertaker design over a traditional over the bumper, since. We, we expected the game to be a high collusion at high speed, at high speed, which it was. So we wanted our intake to be protected because it was over the bumper. It wouldn't really be protected. All right, thank you, Adrian. Now we're headed over to Rossin to talk about their indexer and shooter system. Well, our feed starts after the intake. These four wheels here, powered by India 1.1, keep the note inside the shooter at a compression of it compresses it two inches, and that feed then, when it's ready to shoot, spins it up into our fast-spinning flywheels that shoot it out into both the speaker and the amp. It looks something like this. Our feed is also responsible for spitting out notes if we do indeed need to do that, like shown here. That's very interesting. One thing I'm almost... Oh. One thing I'm... That's, that's very interesting. Uh, one thing I'm curious about, is there any way you, you have like, is there any way you looked into the design process for this? Were there other things you considered or was this just, was this the first thing you tried and it worked well? Well, it was, there were some design innovations before. We, um, so as you see here, we have, these were originally three inch compliant wheels. However, we found um, that they didn't really work and it had produced a dead zone. So we trimmed them a little bit so that they kind of, we, we put on bigger wheels and trimmed them down so that they're still bigger than the original ones we had on. Since we had a dead zone between our feed here and our shooter here, which got it stuck often in a place that we couldn't really do anything about it. So we had to just play defense for the rest of the match. And that that was really the only design change. Since, since then, we've worked perfectly fine. We haven't had that same issue. So yeah, nice. Uh, now we're heading over to Sarah to talk about their amp system. Okay, like Rossen already mentioned, for our amp, uh, the same process is for the shooter. And then uh, we basically have the, we call it the amp hood. It just goes up uh, and helps uh, redirect the node into the amp. So we still shoot it out of our shooter. Uh, the two bars just kind of make it go more horizontal so it hits the top of the amp and uh, goes down. This works pretty well and is way faster than any other design iterations we've had. We've tried it with like a full uh, plate here that goes the whole uh, 180 degrees. That was kind of slow and got the notes stuck sometimes. So we changed that and this has been working perfectly fine. Nice. Um, and then if you... Get the robot. Go. Go there. Uh, you can see the uh, fabric here. Uh, sometimes we miss the amp, um, and a robot, like the note, got stuck uh, on the bottom of a robot once. So now we have that piece of fabric there, and it bounces the note right off. This has worked great for us. I think we've used it like five times in this competition alone. Like it didn't happen that much before, but we're lucky we have it. Um, yeah, and then uh, we also use uh, cameras to align ourselves uh, to the for the shooter and the amp. You can see them here. Uh, and a pixie cam in front of the intake to uh, for note detection so that uh, it's easier because the field doesn't have so much vision. Thank you, Sarah. This is all looking incredibly cool for you all. 
Best of luck going into alliance selections and eliminations. You've had a strong season so far, and I hope that continues. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Support Fun's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and Fun members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button on any YouTube video to pledge your support.